Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these festive super duo beaded rope earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step and I'm sure that you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. In fact here I'm showing the easiest way that you could make super duo beaded rope. I also have a tutorial for a bracelet with the same stitch that I'm showing here and you could see it here at this corner but when I was making the bracelet you said that in the beginning I missed some steps and uh, went too fast through some of the steps so uh, some of you couldn't get it that's why I decided to make this tutorial and there is another reason to make it with the bracelet I was showing how to finish it but I didn't show how to close this rope in a circle and here I'm gonna be showing you exactly this how to start it in order to be able to close it in a circle so if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and the holidays are coming so you will be able to make beautiful presents for your friends if you follow me thank to all of you that like share and comment you don't know how much of a support this is Check description for full list of materials and other useful links. And a new feature is to become a member if you want to support my channel and have some perks here uh, in YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of these beautiful super duos red and golden here i'm using earring findings in golden color and only two beads the size is 80 here i use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to so 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that i use to attach my earring findings to my work and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back Okay guys, so I'm starting my work by picking up two red beads, two golden beads, two red beads and two golden beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. These are eight beads in total, four red and four golden. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work and I'm going to make a knot here. When I was showing you this easy super duo rope the previous time, as I mentioned in the beginning, I showed you how to finish it and how to add a clasp on it. And now I'm going to show you how to make it in a full circle. Okay, so now what I wanna do here at this step is go through some beads in this direction in this circle of beads okay like this now i want to arrange them so one of the goldens is sticks out in this dire direction one of the reds also sticks out in this direction one more of the goldens also sticks out in this direction so four by four in the two directions if you don't understand now don't worry just follow the steps okay i'm exiting out of this golden and i will go zigzagging from uh, the empty hole of the same golden you see where i am okay now i'm going to take a red bead and I will go here through this red one. Okay. Then I'm pushing the next golden here. Then I'm going to take a golden and I will go here through the next golden. Okay. Skipping this one and pushing it in this direction, you see this one in this direction then I'm pushing the next golden in this direction as well you see and 
and I'm pushing one of the reds in one direction and the other in the other direction. This is what I have. And now I'm going to take a red and I'm going through the red You see like this and now I'm going to take a golden and I go through the golden and through the following red. Okay, this is what I have for now. Okay. Now as I'm exiting through this filled bottom hole of this uh, red bead, I'm going through its outer empty hole and I'm changing directions. Okay. Now guys, I will take red color because I'm exiting out of a red bead and I go through the golden. Okay, then I'm going to take a golden because I'm exiting out of a golden and I'm picking the color I'm exiting out of this step and I'm going through the red. Then I'm going to take a red because I'm exiting out of a red and I'm going through the golden. And at my fourth step, I'm taking a golden because I'm exiting out of a golden. I'm going through the red and through the following red because this is the last fourth step of this row. And now it's time to step up in my next row. And my next row consists of these four beads that, um, that are sticking out. Okay. So as I'm exiting through this hole here, I'm going back through its empty hole and I'm changing directions. And since I'm changing directions, I will also change the order of the colors I'm picking up. I'm going out of the red, but I'm going to pick up the next color, which is golden. And I'm going through the golden. Now, I'm going to pick the next color, which is red and not the golden, like I did in my previous row. And I'm going through the red. Okay, then again, I'm picking up golden and I'm going through the golden. And now I will take red. And I'm going through the gold, through the red and through the following golden. This is my fourth step of this row. And now guys, I will start my next row with these beads that are sticking out the most. And how I started, I should go through the empty hole of this golden, zigzagging and changing directions. And you know, when I change direction, I should pick up the color I'm exiting out of this time. Before I was picking the color that I'm going through and now I'm picking the color I'm exiting out of. Always when I change directions, I also change the order of the colors I'm picking up. Now it's time to pick up the color I'm exiting out of, which is red. Now, the color I'm exiting out of is golden. And this is the fourth step and the color I'm exiting out of is red. And I go through the golden and through the following golden. That will be the step up in my next row. You see, how these four are sticking out. Now what I do is that I go through the empty hole of this golden changing direction. And when I change directions, guys, you know, I alterate the 
color pattern because I want to have these beautiful stripes. If here I add a golden, uh, this line will be lost. That is why as I'm changing direction, again I pick up the color I'm exiting out of. Uh, sorry, the color I'm going into, which is red. Then the color I'm going into, which is golden. Then the color I am going into, which is red. Then the color I'm going into, which is golden. Okay. Again, four beads. Okay. And now as I'm exiting through this right here, I'm changing direction and going through this red one. Now I will be picking up the color I'm exiting out of because in my previous row I, I was picking the color I'm going into. Now I'm picking the color I'm exiting out of because I changed directions. And uh, the other way you could tell which color to pick is uh, what will happen if here I pick a red. Well, this line, this red line will be lost here, will be more of this color. Uh, so I need to pick up golden. So this is the, the other way you could tell which color you should pick. If you stop for a while and forget on which step you are, uh, you could just think logically and get to the conclusion which color you should pick up next. Okay. Now I have this and I will show you one more time and I'll let you do this by yourself. Uh, the other part of this beautiful rope. Okay, so I'm exiting out of a red, but because I changed directions, I'm picking the color that I'm going into, which here is golden, here is red, then again it is golden, and then again it is red. And I go in the next as well, in my last step, and you see these are sticking out. I'm going backwards through the golden, through its empty hole, and I continue. And since when I continue, since I have a rope big enough to close it into a circle, you could make a smaller circle or a bigger circle. It's up to you. You decide how much uh, the radius will be. I will make the desired length and I'll be back. And I think this length is enough to close it into a circle. Of course, you could make a greater length and make uh, also bracelet or a necklace. It's up to you. But now I'm making earrings and I'm making a smaller circle. Yes, you could make a bracelet with the clasp that I showed and gave a link to one of my tutorials in the beginning or you could close it like this and that I'm going to be showing you now. But before I close it, I just want to get rid of this tail thread here uh, that I have in the beginning. So how I'm going to get rid of it. I want to make a knot and how I want to make a knot. First I will push its end like this to form a loop. Then I will go once and I will go second time through this loop I've made. I pull again and now I'm going to try to go through some beads in this direction. Oh, okay, if I cannot do this in this direction, I try in the other direction. And then I cut my thread because otherwise this tail thread will be on my way all the time. Okay, and how long it is? Well, maybe a good orientation will be that uh, counting from here. 
Okay, these are sticking out, these two are sticking out in the beginning, and I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I have uh, 14 beads, counting this one that sticks out. And I want to make, finish this row. And then I will connect my two ends. Okay, this is the last row I'm making. Okay, through the red, through the following golden, and then again through this golden. Okay, guys, and in order to connect my work, what I want to do is fold it like this. And what I want to do is connect this golden that I'm exiting out of, you see where I'm exiting out of, with another golden. Okay, when I turn it this way, I will connect it with one of the goldens here. Okay, so I'm exiting here and I want to go through the empty hole of one of my other goldens. Okay, at first it will be a little bit difficult. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to connect this golden with uh, the hole of another golden. You see, this is what I do. Then what comes next is again this row. I will be zigzagging through the rows and here it comes red. So I'm pushing the red like this and I'm connecting it with the golden. Then it comes red but it's from the other part and I go through it like this and again I push really hard through it. Then because I'm zigzagging, I will be going through this part here and through this golden, like this. Then I will be going through this part and through this golden, okay, like this. I'm arranging them one next to the other, okay. Then it comes this row and this red one. Okay. And then it comes the next row and the last red one that I need to be connecting. Okay. And I think I should push really hard and you see nothing is visible. And of course, you could go reinforcing up and down this connection here. Okay. Go and reinforce the edges. Okay, like this. And now guys, as I'm exiting through this red one, I'm taking one of the atos here that I mentioned in the beginning. And I'm going through its hole like this in circle. Okay. Then I will go in the golden, in this hole of the golden. Again, I will go through this bead here, like this, and I go through the golden. Okay, now I attach it in this direction, and I could reinforce it several more times, but when I'm ready, I will go through some beads here, and I will make a knot and cut my thread. And let's say I'm making it here not to be visible. Make a loop. Go once. 
go second time through this loop I've made and you could repeat this knot several more times then go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and this is what you have now and the last part is to attach your earring finding okay here I have it and in order to do this I will take my pliers I will open up this earring finding okay then I'm coming here and I'm going through its hole through the hole of this bead and I'm pushing then I take my pliers and I close back this earring finding and now I attached it to my work okay guys so now my festive super dual rope earrings are ready this is part of my christmas tutorials you will be ready for christmas earlier than others with these gifts ideas that i'm giving you so thank you so much for watching thank you for liking sharing and commenting you could subscribe if you still haven't i will be so happy if you do this and you help me so much you could check description for a useful link or you could decide to become a member. This is another great way to get some perks here and to support me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.